Hey, let's take a look at some video trends for 2023. Okay, y'all, I'm not a fortune teller, but stick with me through this video as I share with you things that I personally see as shaping the world of video, like style, technique, maybe even software. Now, you gotta watch it to the end because this connects all the dots in terms of your content. And just because we're talking about it here doesn't mean it's the only thing, but my guess is it's a thing, and heck, we need to know about things. And I know my professional speaker friends will chide me about talking about things. I hear Patricia Fripp whispering in my ear, it's not things, Chuck. Hey, Patricia, love you, girl. Okay, now, if you're excited about this video series over 2023, how about hitting this subscribe button? And let's start off with what's hot, and that's AI. Whether it is ChatGPT or Jasper or any word or Quillbot, the list goes on, the ability to create is enhanced dramatically by the ability of AI to write scripts. So let's look at a simple example. Now, I'm in Jasper now, and you can see this on my screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask AI to write me a script for the following how to find the right topic for an effective YouTube video that will get viewing traction. Okay, so here we go, watch. You see what's happening, right? Okay, you see this, it's amazing. And it seems like everyone is checking this out. I mean, it's playing all over and everybody's talking about it. Ah, but my son said, but dad, what if someone else asks the same question? Does ChatGPT or Jasper or any word say the same thing, but for someone else? That's a great question. So just in case, and just to make sure and make it a little more interesting, I like to use my Quillbot account. Quillbot is a paraphrasing account, and I subscribe to the premium version, which by the way is well worth the money. So I put the AI text that I want to modify into Quillbot and ask it to paraphrase. Okay, ah, big time out. So I want to write something on Jasper or any word or chat GPT, all AI, and then I put it into Quillbot to paraphrase, which means AI is modifying AI. That's mind blowing. Now here's the gig, play around with it. Okay, I'm going to give you a practical application. I'm writing a book with a PhD co-author entitled The Many Faces of Fraud. But for the life of me, I couldn't come up with a clever subtitle. So I asked ChatGPT, and bam, I got a subtitle. It was amazing. So then I said, huh, well, I wonder if it could provide me the titles for 14 chapters. And boom, there they were. So I sent that to the co-author to get her input. She loved them. She thought it was amazing. She had one suggestion for an additional chapter, but otherwise thought it was a wonderful outline, functionally all created by AI. Okay, so y'all, we're entering a new age of AI. Hang on. Now, we're coming to the end of part one. So let me just say, AI platforms are getting smarter and we're getting more intelligent with how to implement them and when things like reels and shorts are pushing us to create more volume of content, it seems like the perfect storm for people to start using these AI platforms to make certain parts of their workflow faster and easier. So I got a request for you. I would love for you to share your thoughts about how to use AI to increase the efficiency of your workflow or grow your business. Your comments are welcome and your comments are helpful to our subscribers who are exploring this new territory. For now, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll be back in a day or so with part two. So, hey, stay tuned.